let's give you some useful information for one of the most controversial subjects in all of urology, prostate cancer screening. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Dr. Segel here. So um, the question is, all my buddies are getting checked for prostate cancer. I'm 71, should I get checked, doc? We get this question in almost every patient that's uh, a man over the age of 70, and frankly, anybody over the age of 50, we get this question very frequently. And I'm gonna tell you a pearl at the end for what I think is the most important question to answer, uh, an important thing to think about before getting check for prostate cancer. So stay tuned uh, at the end for that. There, there is a, a, a group of rules that we as urologists tend to practice by or try as much as we can to practice by the American Neurological Association guidelines. Sometimes these guidelines are difficult for patients to understand, but I think in this regard with prostate cancer screening, they're very um, readable. So I always encourage patients if they would like to, to go ahead and read them because it requires less interpretation from us and they can just read it directly and get the direct information. So I think that's one important thing. Uh, but I just want to go over these guidelines because it's usable information that uh, can influence your decision as to whether you want to get checked for prostate cancer. So these AUA, American Neurological Association guidelines, say for 55, for men age 55 to 69, we should offer prostate cancer screening involving rectal exams and PSAs. This is the kind of the prime time age group for screening for prostate cancer. And we'll talk about the age groups before and afterward. So in general, we, we tend as urologists to screen this group of patients for prostate cancer. Uh, I think that uh, provided you do it correctly, it can provide uh, a lot of uh, uh, important uh, improvement in patients' uh, quality of life, longevity of life, etc. Now, Let's take a, the group younger than that, 40 to 54. So the guidelines say in this regard, you should talk to them about prostate cancer screening if they have a predisposition to prostate cancer. Two big categories of predisposition are African-American race and a family history of prostate cancer. If we notice one of those things, then we will bring up prostate cancer screening to them when they're aged 40 to 54. Sometimes I'll see a guy that's in his 30s or 20s and they'll tell me their father had prostate cancer and I'll make a comment to them, when you turn 40, I want you to think about doing prostate cancer screening because there's a strong family history component. And certainly for individuals that are African-American, we have that conversation as well. So that's the way we think about the age group 40 to 54. But the question was, what do you do? This guy walks in your office and he's 71. Um, the, the, the guidelines say that's not routinely recommended uh, for a men above the age of, of 70, prostate cancer screening. Having said that, there are some caveats to it. So if I see a guy that walks in my office and he's 71 and I look at him and he takes no medications, he looks healthy as a horse, I look at him and by inspection, he looks like he's 51. Well, we're having a different conversation because presumably we think that prostate cancer screening in general will help people with a life expectancy of 10 to 15 years or more. And if we see a guy that's 71 and he looks extremely healthy and has that potential intended life expectancy or expected uh, longevity, then we'll say, you know what, let's have a conversation about prostate cancer screening and see if they want to do it. So there are circumstances where individuals are above the typical screening range for prostate cancer, for prostate cancer detection that we will screen them for it, especially in individuals that are healthier with advanced age. The fundamental question that I'll ask guys that aren't sure, now some guys absolutely want to get checked for prostate cancer, it's a no brainer and great, we'll do it. But well, the, the fundamental question that I ask guys before we check them for prostate cancer, if they're not sure if they want to get uh, checked for it or not, is this. If we were to find cancer in your prostate, would you want to be treated? Uh, and a lot of guys say, no, doc, I'm good. I don't like the idea of any of the side effects of treatment. I've thought about it. 
even if it was serious prostate cancer, I don't, I wouldn't want treatment for it. And then if we have ha we've had that conversation with them and that's what they say, then the conversation's done because if they wouldn't want any treatment, no matter what kind of prostate cancer it is, then we don't screen them for it. So that 71 year old individual walks in the office and tells me that, well, obviously we're not screening them for prostate cancer. The other thing that's worth mentioning is there are some individuals, unfortunately, that are um, younger than the intended age group of uh, 55 to 69 or within that age group that have significant medical problems and they're at risk for a prostate biopsy if they take blood thinners and it's a risk for them to stop the blood thinners if unfortunately their life expectancy is very short. Uh, despite a younger age. And in, the, in those individuals, we have a detailed conversation with them about prostate cancer screening and oftentimes do not screen them for prostate cancer because the risk may outweigh the benefit. But the pearl, and this is what I want to tell you at the end, and uh, this is the most important thing when you decide uh, if you're going to get screened for prostate cancer or not. One of the detractors of prostate cancer screening will say that we overtreat, but I think fundamental to that is having a good relationship between the urologist and the patient. So if you feel like you've got a really good urologist uh, patient interaction, that's fabulous. And it's important because if you were to find prostate cancer, a lot of prostate cancers are not clinically significant. They're things that we need to keep an eye on. Oftentimes we think of prostate cancer now in the same way as certain prostate cancers in the same way as high blood pressure, diabetes, um, high lipids, where we kind of just manage it and watch it. So part and parcel to that is that you have a good relationship with your urologist and you can kind of level with them and talk to them about, Doc, if you were my family member, would you recommend getting treated for this prostate cancer? What are the good and bad things about it? Uh, what do you think for this kind of prostate cancer? What's it going to be two years from now? What's it going to be five years from now? Uh, is it the kind of thing that we can watch? So I think asking yourself whether you have that relationship with the urologist is extremely important. Prostate cancer screening absolutely is one of the most controversial subjects in um, uh, all of urology. And I think if you ask primary care doctors and you ask 10 urologists, you'd get 10 different answers. Uh, but that's kind of the way we approach it. That's the way we think about it. Certainly anything that you do in that regard, as long as you're thinking rationally about it, makes sense, but I hope that this gives you a framework for thinking about whether you would want to be screened for prostate cancer for different age groups. Thank you so much for listening. We certainly appreciate it. Please subscribe to our channel.